All right, Dan, we've seen these hogs up here crossing the road. They've went to the left side of the road here, and this is a ditch in a ditch bank. So more than likely, they're gonna work either way. The bad thing is the wind, wind. The wind is not in our favor, but if, if we stay over that way, we can keep right, a crosswind so and get around and, and locate them. All right, let's do it. <laughs> See if they did cross the ditch and get out of the pasture. They're all right here in the pasture. Now, if you want to shoot that one, yeah, right in the leg. Oh, nice shot! I got it. Nice shot. I got it. Yeah, that one's dead. Just nice shot. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Stealthy work. Well, I know. I thought we were in trouble because that, you know, we eased in there trying to find them on this ditch bank, and that little one busted us. But you know, the big ones aren't going to pay as much attention to them because there was a group of them. There was a group. So when the little ones make some noise, the big ones really don't pay you know, much attention. You Jimmy, you're not kidding on scent control. I mean, oh, yeah. you really got to watch. These things yeah. got a much better nose than a white tail. Oh, thing. much better. You try to kill a big boar, his nose is way bigger, than, way better than a, a white tail's. You know, that's nose. something that you can really take from, from hunting hogs or, or predators and things like that is that it really gets you in practice for deer yeah, season. Exactly. Well, let's go check this hog out. Yeah, it was a good shot. Yeah, Thank it was you. A good shot. Thank you. It was right here in this tall stuff. That's right. Shot it. Right up here you know somewhere. It oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. <laughs> Way to go. You know what? 15 yards, maybe? 15 yards. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, that kill zone Ooh. broadhead just puts it to him, doesn't it? I mean. Now, now look. That thing has worked its way back. It went all the way through. It went all the way through the but hog. Look, it's almost worked its way out. Backwards. It broke. No, it didn't. Did that, it that thing is a, that's a strong blade. Yeah. That stays yeah. together. These are good blades. Well, that's a good, good eating size pig, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Nice table fare there. Oh yeah. That's a that's one that goes in the smoker. You know, like I said, this is this is a way to combine management with fun. Yeah. You know, you can do it with anything, right? I mean, right. bow, crossbow, muzzleloader yeah. if you wanted well, you, to. You've rode around. You've seen the devastation it does on the pastures and everything. Well, yeah, you're showing me the pastures, and it's like I can't imagine. Yeah. You know, you probably got cows going through there, busting their, their feet. And, you know, and, I mean, and the cowboys on their horses, you know, tripping in the holes. So. And, and the thing about the hogs is they're so prolific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have three litters a year, and by the time they have their their third litter, their first litter is already breeding. So those ones that were born this year could already be having offspring yeah, this yeah, fall. Yeah. That's just, that's yeah. astounding. And I know it's like, like I said, it's taking one with the bows, like taking a drop of water out of the ocean, but, but every hey, little bit helps. That's one less hog out here to, to, to root up the field. And well, that was a little boar, so he would have helped produce some more. He's not gonna produce any more. <laughs>